For Mike Flint, number 49, age is just a number. Oh, I feel fine. I feel great. This 59-year-old senior waited three decades to get back on the gridiron. Saturday night, the wait ended when Flint took the field with Texas Sol Ross State in a victory over Texas Lutheran in three overtimes. Was it what you thought it would be? Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's. It's more. It's more. It's. It's everything I thought. This guy hit the winning field goal right there. Okay. Back in 1971, Flint was kicked out of school. He was a team captain at the time. He moved on, married, started a family, and went into the military. He became a strength coach at Division One schools, but he never got over letting his friends down. He mentioned that to guys during a reunion who dared Flint to get back into playing shape. Flint took up the dare once he found out he still had eligibility left. I never dreamed that it would be this widely followed in, in what I'm doing. But Flint is a media darling, and Sol Ross State suddenly has a lot more baby boomer fans. It's good to come out, come out here after 35 years and see your buddy, you know, suited up playing football. <laughs> Mike, was, Mike was a good kid and he's a good football player. Yeah, he's a, and I think he is, if you, I don't know, all that stuff on the internet, he's turning people on everywhere. So, you know. Tough enough to do it? Do I'm it. I'm thinking about it. I'll be 83 this month. <laughs> <laughs> I may try next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Good job. There you go. Good job. Good job. Touchdown. For Flint's family, waiting for dad to get into the game was nerve wracking, but he made his family proud. He played a nine series, mostly kicking plays. As the game progressed and day turned into night, fans got to their feet in anticipation of victory. Sol Ross took the field again, this time to go in front for good. After the game, Flint had a chance to reflect on his dream come true, appreciate what had happened. The hitting was great. What else would you expect from a college football player, even one who's 59 years old? Dave Lebeski, The Associated Press.